welcome to the, this is a special, not one-off, because I think I'm going to do this again and again, um, show off Bowdoin clothing to you all as I um, receive them in the mail, because I know a lot of you who originally followed me way back in the era of the written word, also known as a blog, will remember that my main focus was reviewing Bowdoin clothing, and I kind of want to get back to that because it's been so long since I've done that. And although on my Instagram page, not my Dina is Dazzled Instagram page or the Dazzling Detail by Dina Instagram page, but the other one, my more main account, the Dina Gideon one, I do still from time to time show off a lot of my Bowdoin purchases, but I haven't really done reviews in a while, so I figured this is a great place to restart that. Um, it will be interspersed with actual still photos of me wearing uh, the clothes, just like you would have seen on my blog. It's just that in the videos, you get to see the more close up, a little more detail about the um, different features each one has, a little bit more about sizing, etc. This one is actually a special one because it's a Zulily purchase. And um, I always knew that Zulily had Bowdoin. It's just that I never seemed to be able to catch the Bowdoin purchases at Zulily in time. And they were either completely sold out or um, the offerings that were left were nothing that I really wanted. So I went ahead and the last time Zulily announced that they were gonna have a Bowdoin uh, sale, which was about a week ago, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be there for this one because uh, I really liked um, a lot of the winter items this last season. And so I was able to pick up a couple of winter items and then actually a couple of kind of end of summer items as well. Um, now, before I get started, if you are interested in more of these Bowdoin reviews, definitely leave me um, a comment saying you you want me to keep doing this. I am doing Golden Tote um unbaggings as well and I know that a lot of people who really like Golden Tote are really appreciating kind of the clothing reviews. There's a ton of unboxings and unbaggings of makeup and stuff like that on YouTube. I just feel like the clothing market is not as saturated on YouTube and since I know more about clothes anyway I might as well in addition to unboxings and unbaggings of lifestyle and makeup boxes and things like that. I really want to do um, some stuff on clothing because that's my strong suit and that's what I know the best. Anyhow, so um, if you have not been here before and you like what you're seeing, I would love it if you subscribe down below. I always look um, to support others as well. So leave me a link to your um, YouTube channel and I will follow you back. All right, with all that said, let's begin the Zulily Bowden review. All right, so I started off by going to Zulily, and I was seeing that the prices, you know, they weren't any more special than the clearance prices they, that are already on Bowdoin. What made it more special was that it was at least a couple of dollars more off, and I felt like they really, like Zulily is really good about just like having, I like doing a, a lot of purchases on Zulily at once and getting it out of the way and so I went ahead and also ordered a couple of like home products like uh, closet organizers and things like that at the same time so um, that's the benefit of Zulily is you can kind of throw in some other things like tights or I might throw in a couple of kids things and um, although I don't go to Zulily very often I will go at least a handful of times a year especially when there's a good sale on um, what I went ahead and did is I pulled up my computer my Chromebook and in my Chromebook I've opened up two tabs that show my invoices from Zulily and then I went ahead and opened up some tabs that show what the current price is of the item at either Bowdoin USA or at Bowdoin UK. One of the items is not available on Bowdoin USA as far as I can tell. All right, so to start with, let me get started with the one I'm wearing. I did this with my golden toad as well. I went ahead and wore one of the items. I'm actually not wearing this today, but I'm wearing it for the video. This is a owl um, little sweater. It's sequined. It's a beautiful sequin. I mean, it's not one of those sequins that kind of flips up and drives me personally crazy because I'm a little bit controlling about how much stuff can flip up and do weird things. On. Like if one of these flipped up and the other side showed, that would drive me crazy. So I'm one of those people. So the fact that they're secured and flat really does 
make me like this a little bit more. There's also this really pretty um, trim at the edge of the um, sleeve hem. And that one is actually, it's a pretty little light gold color. Navy is one of my favorite neutrals to wear. I feel it looks better on me than black or gray. Uh, gray is better than black. Navy is better than gray. And I can't wear brown. So there you go. Um, I also do really well in white. The um, It's your typical um, sizing. This is a size small. And it fits exactly like I expected it to. I typically wear a size small on their sweaters. And this is what... I chose to wear and I feel like it fits me well. It is that funny little like wool part cashmere, a little bit of acrylic mix that they do. And it's not my favorite. It's not, it's soft, but it's not as soft as some of the sweaters I've gotten from other companies like Pure Collection. And, um, but it's novelty and it's unique. And I always, whenever I wear um, these sorts of sweaters from Bowdoin, people always come up to me and ask me, where did you get that? That's super cute. I actually bought this to match a bird skirt that I purchased. That's an embroidered bird skirt. It's got the golden rod and, or the golden color and the navy. And um, it matches actually one of the dresses that I purchased. Um, so I think as soon as you see the, pr um, the pattern, excuse me, on the dress, you'll know immediately what skirt I'm talking about. Anyhow, um, there's not much more I can say about this. I am concerned about it pilling a little bit, but I just take a sweater stone to it or a um, shaver and get it taken care of that way. Anyhow, you're gonna probably wanna know what I paid for this. And I paid, um, let me see. It says it's the Navy Owl Christmas Pullover. And this was $48.99. And at the Bowdoin site, it is in the same size slowly coming it is actually priced at $52 so I saved about four dollars and um, I, I mean I, it's really not that much of a difference it's, it's nice this one's final sale though and honestly if um, I didn't love it that would irritate me that I couldn't send it back to Bowdoin like I'm used to in Zulily, they're really good about returns. In fact, I had to return a coat um, from the Canadian company. I think it's Loli or Lowell. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it was a little too tight in my hips and I needed the next size up. So I returned the size that didn't fit me properly. And as long as it had the tags on it, it was in good shape and hadn't been worn, I could return it no problems, no, um, no questions asked. And I now have a credit for that coat on my Zulily account. Not in time for my Bowdoin purchase though, but I'm sure I'll pick something up from Zulily in the next couple of months. So it won't go to waste. All right, next up is this adorable top that I purchased. Well, you know what? I forgot. I want to show you this on me. I went ahead and took a full length from head to toe. So you're going to see that right now. Okay, back to this. Um, we now have the Porsche top. This is a summer top from last summer. And I loved this last summer, but I was really concerned about sizing because with Bowdoin, I've noticed they just prefer that more straight up and down shape. And if it's not a super stretchy fabric, like a sweater or a knit, then it often doesn't work very well for me. Um, Cause this, I don't know what it is. I think they either assume that we all have longer torsos than we do and the um, shirt would actually hit me higher and so it wouldn't matter if it was a little bit tighter or they assume that everybody's a little bit more straight hip than I am and that like my shape in the back goes straight down and then it kind of goes out very quickly so it's small and then it gets real big real fast and um, I ended up buying this in a size 10 and I thought oh gosh that's going to be really big up top so I might have to take in the armholes um, but as it turned out, it actually looks really nice. And I, didn't, I don't think I'm going to need to take it in at all. So I'm really pleased with the size I chose. I mean, it is a little loose, but it's nothing that I hate. So um, either this runs small on the bust, or maybe it's just not bothering me and it is running large and it just doesn't feel that way when I'm wearing it, which is fine for a summer um, top. The embroidery is absolutely 
gorgeous. And it, because it's this white fabric and it's fairly sheer, all of you who are fussy about these things will appreciate that it is lined completely. So this one is just adorable and I look forward to wearing it, you know, April, May, whenever it starts to get a little bit warmer here in Virginia. All right, this one at Zulily was, it's called the Ivory Embroidered Porsche Top. It is $44.99 and at Bowdoin, it is still available at Bowdoin USA. It is let me see, it's a little slow and coming up, I'm sorry. Um, my size, which is, I bought the 10, it's at 54. So it's a full, almost $10, no, excuse me, $9 more expensive at Bowdoin. This one, however, is not final sale. So, um, and it looks super cute on the model. It looks a little bit different on me. It's definitely, look. it looks looser on me. But again, I did size up substantially. Normally I would wear a six, maybe an eight, and the 10 is what I went with. Okay, so next I have, this is the pre, the pattern I was telling you about, the little skirt that I bought that matches this, that's the navy blue and the gold, with the birds is actually this pattern. And it's like flying doves and it looks like maybe um, parakeet, um, a little heart shaped lock stars it's very pretty it's very holiday looking um it is black and gray which is not normally something i go for like i said it's not my favorite set of neutrals oh you know what i just did i realized i forgot to show you this one full length boy i feel scattered today this one your full length is here okay now back to this review here is this dress. It is full length. It is one of those Jersey Jacquard dresses. I wear them all the time. I probably have six of these in my closet and they suit me. They fit my body nicely. They have just enough stretch that I can get a size eight long as opposed to a 10, which is what I would normally think I'd have to wear for my hip size. It is a little large to the bust, but nothing substantially out of the like realm of possibility. It doesn't look oversized on me up top, and it doesn't look too tight in bottom. So the eight long is my perfect size, and every jacquard dress that I've purchased over the past few years um, has fit me in an eight long. So they must have kept the um, style exactly the same. Um, if you go to my Instagram page, the Dina Gideon one, you'll see a ton of photos of me wearing this basic style dress. Now what I like most about it is the thickness of the fabric makes it an excellent winter dress. It is not, it's a double knit. So this thing is very thick, firm. It's not a sweater knit. So, I mean, excuse me, it's not a wool knit. It is, it is made from a cotton blend, but this is just, these are some of the best made pieces that they have. I think you have to like this style and you have to like this kind of fabric to get into it because sometimes these get um, poor reviews. It says it's a cotton and poly blend. It is definitely um, a double knit. This is the lining, super stretchy. And it's really nice when you wear tights because nothing gets stuck. It has a zip up the back and it is lined through the entire dress. The zip works very well. I only use the zip every once in a while. Sometimes I can just um, slide it over my head. Um, but my son is really cute. My littlest one, the six year old, he always wants to zip me up. So I always get it right up to like, um, just below my shoulders. And I say, would you like to zip me up Angus? And he always does, it's super cute. I'm sorry, it is not lined in the sleeves, but that's really not that big of a deal. Anyhow, so this one is called the Black Mystic Woodland Jacquard Winifred Dress, and it is $69.99. And this was the biggest savings out of all of the ones that I bought at Sue Lily. The Winifred Jersey Jacquard Dress in this color, in a size eight long, is 84. So I saved $14 on this one. And I'm gonna show it to you full length right now. All right, next we have 
my very last piece from the big Bowden purchase at Zulily. I did make a purchase for a swimsuit. I have not received it. And honestly, I'm not going to be the type to show you full length uh, swimsuit, especially right now in this year, time of year. So maybe I'll show it to you in another like summer special. And I'll mention that I bought it in the winter. The next piece I actually wore yesterday to school and it was a hit. Everybody really thought it was super cute. I was getting irritated by it by the end of the day, but you'll see why in just a moment. Um, this one is a skirt and it has the most adorable embroidery on it. I do like embroidery. I'm a big embroidery fan. It has these little birdies and little stars. I don't know, let me see if I can, it's a little hard to see them. They're almost the same color, a little deep green color against the navy. Um, and if you're looking at it close up, you probably can see all the fuzzies on it. And that is what ended up irritating me yesterday. So I wore it with like, this pretty white sweater and from J. Crew, And I just loved the combo. And it looked really nice and it held up well through the day, the entire outfit. It is a size 10. It is not in a long or short or a medium length. It is literally just 10. So um, I had wished it had been a little bit longer because it was at my knee at the beginning of the day. And by the end of the day, just simply because of the way the fabric was reacting to being sit, like when I was seated, it would kind of crinkle up. I don't know if you can see the wrinkles there in the middle, but it was just getting crinkled up and it's a mole skin kind of feel. So it's a super soft, almost corduroy like material without obviously it's a, it's a no whale corduroy as opposed to one with whales. Um, a whale is that kind of line that you see on corduroy. Um, it is a cotton, I believe. And I think part of the problem is that it is a cotton. And I, I can't find the, but it's lined. So because it's lined, the, it didn't react badly with my um, tights or anything. It's just, this fabric is just a lint magnet and a wrinkle magnet. And I was not expecting that, to be completely honest with you. My velvet ones have held up much better than this. Um, so I don't know if, I think they should change this. Like, keep the sweet embroidery and keep the style. The fit is great. It's a little too big in the waist. I'd say it's probably like at least three inches too big in the waist, but I can kind of pull it down or I'll pull it up. And because I'm wearing a sweater, you can't tell or I'll tuck something into it. Um, I feel like if they did a denim, like a stretch denim, it would look nicer, especially if it was a dark wash denim. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not in love with how it wore and how it looks now, but I loved wearing it. So it's not like I'm never gonna wear it again. I just think, I just don't like the fussiness of this fabric. This is called the Navy Embroidered Tilda Skirt. It's $39.99, and this one is not available on the Bowdoin USA site. I don't know if it's still available on Zulily. Let me click on it. Oh, that's just the picture of the skirt. Um, oh, jeez. Okay. Let me just put Tilda into the search engine and see what comes up. Hmm, it does come up. It says there's only four left, so if you're seeing this, it's in the 10 it's, you can still buy it in the size 10. There's four of the size 10 left. So ladies, if you're shaped like me, four more. And so, oh, five. Oh, there's five left. Well, let me just buy an extra one. No, I'm just joking. Oh, by the way, I wanted to point out the back does not have the embroidery. Um, this one, though, was available on Bowdoin UK. And it is 32 pounds. You can also get the cute star embroidered one. There was like an olive green star star embroidered one. It's slowly coming up. It says the, um, yes, I know that I'm in the United States. I know. Let me just look at the UK side. Okay, so the 10 in the, the birdie is 32 pounds and the, the cute olive green star embroidered one is 24 pounds. Oh my goodness, I want that star embroidered one. I mean, I hate the fabric, but it's really pretty. If I think of it, I'll link to a picture right now. But probably not because I know that I'll forget. Anyhow, it's super cute. That's available at Bowdoin UK. So all of you that are watching from the United Kingdom, go for it. You could send me one in, oh, in a size, excuse me, size 14. Because <laughs> I'm a size 14, not a 10. 
in UK sizes. If you sent me a 10, it would not fit. Um, okay, so I did the um, conversion. 32 pounds to uh, American dollars is 42.39. So again, I saved about three bucks. So nothing, nothing huge. Um, all right, the picture of me wearing it head to toe is next. I loved it. I wore it exactly like that to school. Anyhow, I am really glad I was able to do this. I'm sorry it was a bit scattered. I kept forgetting to quickly remind you to look at the full length picture. I am getting better at these um, at videos. I'm just not as sleek and sophisticated as those really fancy YouTube stars who've been doing this apparently since birth, since they are really good at it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed what I had to offer today. And if you want me to keep doing these Bowdoin reviews on YouTube, I will absolutely keep it up because this again is what I know best. So I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you back here the next time I get some Bowdoin items in, which I think will be happening soon because I have some returns processing and I think I have some credit available and I have some cute things that I really want to buy for spring. Okay, you all have a lovely day. I will see you next time.